Hi, this is Elliot with Future NFT Mints, and this is your weekly Fresh Mints recap. Today is March 11th. This week, I wrote about five NFT mints in our daily Fresh Mints newsletter. This is the weekly recap where I'm going to highlight the mints and share one thing I liked and didn't like about the NFT. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's get started. On Monday, I wrote about Someplace, The Potion, a women-led metaverse with space to display NFTs and interact with others using a custom avatar. Genesis NFT, The Potions, grants access. I like that they've already built enough of the app that they've onboarded some early users who have shared what it looks like, and it looks cool. Few teams are this far along pre-mint. It was hard to find something I didn't like. This team has generated tons of interest and they're about to enter a hyper crowded space. However, the 33 flow price for the NFT seems low. I'd prefer to see them increase price to generate more with this NFT sale so they have a longer runway. On Tuesday, I wrote about Kingdom of Dwarves. The team has created a Minecraft compatible metaverse using NFT worlds with a play to earn game staking token and DAO while releasing 4,000 NFTs in eight drops. I like that the team consists of world builders with Emmy award winning expertise and experience including Game of Thrones and Westworld. However, the team has mentioned offering a form of passive income and with the SEC's recent letters to NFTs and DAOs asking questions to determine if they're unregistered securities, even though this NFT likely isn't in their crosshairs, I'm cautious on this one. On Wednesday, I wrote about Mythical Creatures, a diverse project with a play to earn game, token, Genesis PFP, multiple NFTs, staking, metaverse events, and planned novel series. I like that the play to earn games with staking components have been good mints for me, though when I buy them on OpenSea, not so much. So being early with a good play to earn is something I prefer. I don't like that it's not clear that if the team has the experience or expertise to pull off the storytelling vision that sounds central to their plans. World building is hard, writing a novel is hard, and their ambition is to create a novel series. This won't be easy. On Thursday, I wrote about Party Horses, an NFT where holders can get custom bottles of bourbon from official partner Maker's Mark and an invite to an exclusive Kentucky Derby party. I like that there is an official partnership with Maker's Mark. In general, I like physical products that you receive for owning an NFT, but they generally don't wind up above their mint price. I didn't like that this is such an expensive NFT. You're paying more than $500 for what is basically a bottle of liquor and a 4% chance to attend a Kentucky Derby party. Sure, there may be perks or merch later, but this seems overly expensive. And lastly, today, we wrote for both our free and premium newsletter subscribers about Chefty Pizza, an NFT collection from superstar chefs Tom Colicchio and Spike Mendelson, with masterclasses, culinary perks, and plans to onboard chefs to Web3. I like that they're creating virtual events and masterclasses taught by some of the best chefs alive in a token-gated fashion means you can take away prices experiences from being a part of this NFT. I'm a big fan of Top Chef, and I love cooking. So this naturally appeals to me. However, the chefs are leaders in the kitchen, but not necessarily on the tech side. They're partnering with people to bring these innovations to the market, but this NFT may not be their primary focus. And that's our weekly Freshman's Recap. I write daily analyses, breaking down upcoming NFT mints that go into details about each mint. If you'd like to receive our in-depth analyses regularly, you can sign up for our free or paid newsletter at futurenftmints.com. Have a good week and best of luck on your next mint.